this was published on SlideShare, which is a scribed com company, on December 27, 2022. It's got 713 views, but zero likes. And it has an AI-enhanced description. Interesting. Marcus Rowland, whoever that is, says the document provides definitions and guidelines for correct syntax, grammar, and sentence structure according to quantum language rules. <clears throat> first red flag. Okay, second red flag. The first red flag is that they wrote this in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. The second red flag is they call it quantum language, which there's a huge difference between quantum grammar and language. Grammar is grammar, language is language. Correct sentence structure, one and one is one. One word, one meaning. Language does not mean the same thing as grammar. And if you get closure on this grammar, you, you will know that difference. Key terms are defined, including parts of speech marked with tildes. Violations of the guidelines, such as using incorrect syntax, can result in legal claims and liability under various laws for knowing of and not stopping correcting errors. The document is intended to analyze attached communications for corrections. Whoever this Marcus Rowland is doesn't have a clue. No clue. You can be legally, you can have a legal claim against you if you don't use correct grammar. Are you kidding me right now? then every single legal claim that's ever been made is liable. Every single one. Because they're all written in adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. <laughs> oh, man. So th this should be fun. This should be fun. So let's look at what we got here. How can I get this off the screen? I wish I could make this bigger, but okay, whatever. Uh, Google Docs. The authors, including myself, colon, Luke, hyphen, Kwong. Okay, we don't have a space between the VO, so that is basically one whole compound pronoun right there. Goodness gracious. Why? Why? I don't understand. Okay, I do understand why people do that. All right. I'm getting ahead of myself here. People that do not have closure on the grammar do that all the time. They mix punctuated names and words in with their fictitious conveyance of grammar. So let, let's get over that and just read what, what is presented here. Okay, so present the information only as educational material and do not claim that this information is the basis of legal advice, nor should the reader. So they're telling the reader what they should or shouldn't consider. All content posted on this website, including the content of this post, are works of fiction. No shit. Any resemblance to actual persons or events is purely coincidental. How do you know that? It is hoped that the information presented will spark many conversations around the kitchen table with the national constitution in one hand and the Bible, basis of our law, in the other. It is recommended before taking any legal action mm, that you consult a person qualified to advise you and your lawyer in matters of national and international law, admiralty, in maritime process. The authors accept no responsibility for any injury or damage resulting from the use of the material and information presented. Very, very wise, uh, Luke Quang Vo. As you see here, they write their name differently. Look, there's, now there's a space. Up here, there was no space. I rest my case, folks. Um, oh, oh, hold on. I recommend that you visit quote urlaw.org get the following link to learn even more about the topics cited in this document. urlaw.org is an adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction babble website 
Now, whether that website helps people or not, or people have found value and success in it or not, I'm not one to say. What I can say is the founder of that site put a crap ton of work into that site, and I honor that. I know what it you know takes to put work into a website and build a a foundation of knowledge and, and information and things like that. So much respect to someone, anyone who would do that with the volition of helping people, whether they're making money or not, you know, and it's a good thing to want to help other people, folks, no matter what venue or, or technique you're using. However, no one that I know of on that site has closure on correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Matter of fact, if you go into the paid, at least this was true a year or two ago, when you go into the paid syntax section, where if you are a member and you're actually putting money down to, to pay for a private syntax course, they're just teaching you parse. They don't know the first thing about syntax. They confuse, or willfully or not, the word syntax with parse, they use them synonymously. And that tells me that they learned from Mark Lower Case K, Kishon Christopher. Um, so that tells me right away before I see anything on this website, what their level of knowledge actually is here. On this blessed day of Sunday, December 25th, Circumstances made it possible to give a gift to humanity in this document offered to all individuals aspiring to sovereignty and respect for these rights and freedoms. Chicken has a right to eat. A coyote has a right to eat. That's enough said about rights. In order to use the letters quoted in this document, translate them into your language and modify the references of legal texts mentioned in correspondence with those formulated in the legal texts of your territory or residence. So Lukey is telling you, the reader, to modify the text. What is modification, folks? Modification is change. And, th and that's perjury, spoken by the man himself, Colin David Ivan Wayne Colin Miller. You are asked to follow the instructions in each letter and to make sure to add your letter. Add to your letter a color photocopy of your live life claim, a color photocopy of your C pass, affidavit, no contract, of status or notice of understanding, no contract, no contract. Intent, no contract. Claim of rights, rights, no contract. And the reason why I say rights is no contract, from my view and my position, rights are given by an authority. And how does one certify, confirm, or authenticate an authority? It's either by consent. Or, or what? I'll leave that up to you. In any case, rights come from an authority. So you have to be able to prove that authority. So if you're talking about rights in the context of my constitutional rights, that means you have given the government authority over you. You have submitted and consented to their authority to give you rights. And I mean, if that's your thing, then cool. Good for you. I, I don't. So I don't participate with the concept known as rights, whether they come from a government or whether they come from some imaginary entity in the sky or whatever. And the elements bringing in the jurisdiction of the UPU to your letter and giving you complete authority over the execution of the terms. Execution of the terms? We're going to be executing terms? Bro. 
I don't know. When I see the word execution, I immediately think of a dude with a big axe and a black hood over their head. Thanks. Oh, see, what did I say, folks? What did I say? Mark, lowercase k, Kishon Christopher. Right there's the culprit. And uh, look, they lowercased the W in David Windmiller's name, so they have misspelled the man's name and dishonored him. And also, they didn't put a space between the colon and Miller. So that tells me the length and breadth of their knowledge level which I would say is probably 25% if that. Wink, what can you do when you know the law? What can you do when you know the law? Folks, you can participate with adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble is what you can do. You're using fiction against fiction. Laws and legalities are fiction concepts. This is a non-exhaustive list of your possibilities. Defend yourself in a court of law with increased means. Eliminate financial burdens. Eliminate requests for payment. Eliminate payment requests for services already paid in advance. Blah, 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 blah. The law is with you. You will respect my authority. Table of content. Syntax master for correct language, syntax definition, shortcut sheet, uh, parts of, ooh. Okay, let's, oh, they actually have a quora rental on here. This should be really interesting. All right. Conjunction, adverb, number one. Okay, all these are incorrect because these numbers with the tilde in front of them, have not been positioned with a position lodial phrase. If facts are facts, they must be positioned with position lodial phrases. Are numbers facts? Are they? Because if they are, then they need to have a position lodial phrase in front of them to position them as, as such. Otherwise, the author is asking us to presume and assume that they're facts. See what I'm saying, folks? Numbers need to be positioned because they are facts and factors. No law or no fact, comma, shall be tried in court. That is incorrect. Now, the way they have it written, they have a comma after fact. That's interesting. I wonder if they put that in there or if that was already there. But it's a 12012. That is correct. And then shall be tried, comma. Why, why are they putting commas in there? But anyways, shall be tried is incorrect because shall would be an adjective in the future tense. Be would be an adjective and tried would be a pronoun in the past tense. So that would be a 3.93, 4 or 4.8. And then in court is correct as a dangling participle verb is court. In is non-tangible contract adverb because of the comma here. I wonder why they did that. Syntax definition. So we have some syntax, no finite contracts here. Again, this is all. Quantum gobbledygook. Oh, adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun, fiction, babble. My heart goes out to the folks that downloaded this file and you actually tried to use it because I bet they got into a steaming pile of doo doo. Oh, man. Flag of the correct sentence structure communications. <sighs> All right, this is starting to make me a headache a little bit here, folks. It really is. 
This is so bad. Oh, wow. Look at this. This particular paper or, or document comes directly from Mark Lowercase K. Kishon Christopher's classes in 2017 and 2018. What is it? Hold on. What, what is this? Where's the Quora rental? Let's go back here real quick. 13. For the record, I repented my sins and asked for the. Whoever did this is. A master of copy and pasting things. <laughs> a master of copy and pasting shit. Crazy. Ah, look, this is uh, taken directly from David Wynn Miller's book. I recognize that. Folks, you look here, you see four autograph areas. In order for a live life claim to be correct, of course you must have the correct grammar on it, which this does not have correct grammar on it. Mainly, one of the main reasons is because these numbers have not been positioned correctly with the position lodeo phrase. Again, are numbers facts? If so, they need to be positioned as such. Just like any other fact. Rule one, rule equal across the board, folks. But the spacing is, is there's uh, excessive spacing. There's uh, incorrect use of colons. Um, incorrect abbreviations. There's a mess of stuff on here. But the point I'm... I'm initially tried to make is you see there are four autograph positions here. In order for a live life claim to be correct, and you have the correct grammar, the correct postal mechanics, the correct uh, banking mechanics, correct flag mechanics, all those things in place, three or more witnesses. At the least, at the very least, you must have three. This has four. You can have five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, I have as many as you want, but you must have at least Three. Donnell Jackson says hijacked. Not sure what you mean by that, dude. Oh, look, another copy and paste. What the heck? What is this? This is a live life claim, but, but what is this? Coming after it. Whatever it is, is quantum <clears throat> quantum gobbledygook. For the follow of these foreclosure guidelines, why is foreclosure in red? Anyone who follows this channel and studies diligently will know that four is a particle of negation. You would not use that in a correct sentence structure. In the manner that they are using it. There are ways to use it, but that wouldn't be one of them. <sighs> 
for the traps and of the tricks. Crazy. I'm not going to say that word. David Wimmiller's book, as far as I know, doesn't have a will or doesn't have a volition. It's just a, for me, it's a historical document and historical document. And there are dozens of mistakes on every single page. So that's why I view it as a hist and historical document. A lot of work went into it for sure. Yes, yes, yes. But as a learning tool, especially for a beginner, I would not recommend, I would recommend the beginning students stay as far away from that book as they can until they actually get closure on the grammar. Then look at the book and then you will see the value of the book, not only in a historical document, but also to give you good ideas on how to format or formulate document contract postal vessel court venues to use in court. But as far as grammar, it's my suggestion you stay far away from it until you get closure on the grammar. But hey, I'm not going to tell anybody what they should or shouldn't do. You do what you want. This is not from David's book. It might actually be, actually, it might be from his book. Because this looks like it has something to do with taxes. But I will tell you again, I would recommend or suggest or uh, just putting this out there. Don't use this <laughs> to try and get out of paying your taxes. Please, please, please get closure on the grammar first. Get closure on the grammar first. Then you can go back and look at something like this and correct it. Write it out and correct that. Structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar. Take out all the particles and negation of the facts. Correct the sequencing of the positionals. Correct the, the positioning of the numbers. And, and format it. And then see what happens. But do not copy and paste, folks. I highly recommend you do not do that. Oh, yeah, this is from, from Miller's book, for sure. For the justice is with the outlaw. Yep, this is all from David's book. Yep, 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 yep. Goodness gracious. They syntax the oath here. For the office of commissioner of the superior court. All right. We were good to go up until we got to the word court with the comma. Commas are breaks in the continuance of the evidence, folks. You can look at a Colin David Ivan Wynn, Colin Miller video, and he will say this. Commas are breaks in the continuance of the evidence. Syntax scenarios never end on modifiers. Why? Because there's nothing left to modify. So a syntax scenario such as for the office of commissioner of the superior court would not end on a modifier, a three or a one. It can only end on a two or a four. And because court is preceded by tangible contract superior, superior is going to be an adjective and court is going to be what? What? I know there's at least one person in chat that knows what court is going to be. Court is not going to be an adjective. What is it going to be? That is correct. It is a pronoun. And I knew that I knew that they would pop in and say that. Because they're one of my best students. So there you go. And this is from David Wood Miller's book. Mistakes all over it, folks. All over it. For this correction, colon space of space quotation, quotation, June 28, 1919. What in the Sam's hell is that?
Well, thank you, Santelli. Appreciate that. I also have grace. I cultivate grace. The balance of the honor and the grace, actually. So you would actually read this for this correction of the, of, and then nothing. Because there's a break in the continuance of the evidence with the excessive spacing here. A space between the of and the quotation. And also, there is no lodial here. But why did they put a colon there? Because a colon represents a position lodial phrase. So it would be for this correction of the, and then whatever the fact would be. But there are no facts here. Because this is adverb, verb, adjective, pronoun. So for this correction would be pronoun, adverb, verb. Breaking the continuance of the evidence with the full colon. And then you would of, which is a, what? A pronoun, right? The Versailles Treaty is in quotations, which means it's not even there. And then you have June 28th, 1919. So June is an adjective. Coloring 28 into a pronoun. Breaking the continuance of the evidence with the comma. Space 1919, which is a pronoun. Is any thing that stands by itself the way 1919 is on a piece of paper is a pronoun because it does not have a position lodial phrase in front of it. Language for the prosecution of any officer of the court on the witness stand. All right. I don't know if this is from David's book. But this is horrible. Horrible grammar. See treaty to file ute <laughs> private suit. Ute private suit into your court. Wick is also in joinder with their court vessel this forms a real now time contract they cannot stop this requires substantial customization dn on thought be careful not to file this like a template every word and concept need to be your own I can see why this individual, I think this might be the Quo I can see why this individual completely disowns and doesn't want anything to do with any type of accountability for sharing this. Because this is complete and utter bullshit. In the context of correct sentence structure, communication, partially syntax grammar. Yeah, this is the Quo Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Cool. So I hope you found that interesting and entertaining and fun and all that. There are over 900 videos here for you to watch. Free. The sum total of my correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, knowledge is here for you. If you want it. If you want to study it. Also, if you want to take a workshop, I mean, if you're really serious about the grammar, if you find it within your heart that you are motivated to learn it, to really buckle down, take it seriously, contact me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. You can find that link to my email in the description of this video. Please include your full correct name when doing so and apply for a workshop. And what I will do is I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation on Zoom. The only platform that I use to communicate with strangers in this domain. And uh, you can ask me whatever you want and we'll see if this is actually something you want to do. Because it is important for me to know 
that you're serious about it or not. Because if you're not serious, you're just going to fall by the wayside like the majority of folks who say they want to learn this, but they don't want to put forth the effort. But those that do put forth the effort, the rewards are there. Thank you for joining me.